Hi, this is Electronics. In this video I will present my own amplifier which I built a few years ago. It took almost a year to build it, but in the process of building I've learned a lot of things what I would like to share and maybe in the future I will build a better amplifier based on this knowledge. Later also I will show you how I repaired it because one of the amplifier ICs got burned before I made this video and I had to replace it. But first I present you my amplifier. The box was made from wood, it is 3mm thick and also some transparent plastic was used for the top part. I reused this plastic from an old CD case. This amplifier consists of 4 TDA-2013A amplifier ICs. I open it up so you can see the inside better. Here's the transformer which is weak for this IC, the output is only dual rail 8 volts, which goes up to 10 volts when rectified. The two capacitors are 10,000 microfarad each and rated at 35 volts. There is also a preamplifier circuit with LM324 IC. This amplifies the weak audio signal coming from the TV and also amplifies the signal for the VU meters. That's the circuit for the VU meters. It's a simple 2N2222 transistor based amplifier circuit. The 4TDA2030A can be found in the rear part attached to the heatsink. Two ICs are in stereo configuration and the other two is bridge for the low frequency sounds. Now I'll show you the back part of the box. Here can be found the power switch, the RCA connectors and the switch to choose the input. I had to attach a cooling fan because the heatsink was too small for the ICs. That's all I can show you about my amplifier. Now I show you how I replaced one of the TDA2030A IC. The source of the problem was electrostatic discharge, in other words it was me, because when I touched the volume potentiometer it zapped me and after that the left channel didn't work anymore. First of all I desoldered the defective part using my soldering station and forceps to force out the legs of the IC. Then I just put in the new one and solder it back. This amplifier has a lot of problems and I would like to give some tips and advice from my experiences. First of all I destroyed one amp IC by electrostatic discharge. The best way to prevent this is to solder ground wire to every potentiometer case. This way the high voltage can't affect the electronics. The on off switch should be placed in the front because it's hard to reach the back of the box. Also the RCA connectors should be placed in the front so this way it would be easier to connect devices. Instead of analog view meter, the LED based view meter with LM3915 or LM3916 should be used, it's better and more precise. Who would like to stay with the analog, then I recommend to buy a real analog view meter, not a voltmeter what I used. The transformer must be shielded very good, otherwise the amp will pick up the generated electromagnetic fields and it will produce hum, which is very annoying. I do not recommend using LM324 as an audio amplifier, there are better audio amplifier ICs available, for example LM833 or NA5532. I hope you liked this video about my amplifier, don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.